little. How bad is it going to go? Oh. Up point. Every 175, but there's engine trouble. Dave Engel has never done this before. And he's traveled to Nevada only to be turned back by the weather. It's been a long wait. Rookie Dave Engel racing alone is gaining confidence at a precise 160. Seemingly impossible to do alone when your attention is on driving, but he's almost exactly on target after 12 miles. Though a freshman, Engel is handling his high-speed run smoothly, like a veteran. There are places where, if in fact you had a blowout or something, uh, if you didn't get it under control, you could be off to the course, and you might fall off a pretty good embankment. There are places, other places where, obviously, that wouldn't be a problem. This is amazing. Dave Engel is entering the gap, entering Tunnel Mountain more than halfway, and he's still right on schedule. Reese River Canyon, the gap, as it's called, can ruin a great run. It's easy to lose time here. Dave Engel is fabulous. Slightly downhill, approaching the finish. He trips the electric eye. Engel is less than one second slower than targeted. Probably the day's most impressive run. How did you manage to get into such a fast class? This is your first time. I've been waiting so long to come on here. I found out about the race the actual Silver State race in 1988 and have been trying to get a car together. Uh, I started when I was 18. I'm 25 now. It took me that long to get a car together. So uh, um, that, that's how I ended up out here. I came out here from uh, Chicago, Spring Grove, Illinois. The Super Sport Division winners, Terry Bias from Nevada, and look at Dave Engel's performance, just 1.6 miles per hour off of his target speed. The unlimited class went to Massachusetts, Kim Baker, average speed over 180 miles per hour.